Hey, it's Aaron from GameThrews.com, and I'm checking out Undead's Building from Double Drive. This is on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm just going to start off by expressing my curiosity of, just of the name. Undead's Building. So this building is possessed by undead. I guess that means possessed in that they've run rampant and taken over the building. Not that they actually own the, the building itself or the land that it's on. I think I'll spend too much time on this as is. Let's just dive right in. Okay, so I played the first two stages. Uh, I feel like if I go to the third, you'll get an idea of what this game is all about without me having to, to play the, the first or second levels. As you can see, I didn't do incredibly great. I got B's. That, that's, that's all right. I uh, certainly could have done better. Um, so we're going to jump into to stage three. As far as I know, all the stages kind of, you know, they pretty much operate very similarly. At least the first two do. Uh, as you can see, this is what you're actually graded on. Reputation, accuracy, wildness, speed, and uh, efficiency. So... Wildness. I leave the survivors without. I don't know if that's what. Maybe. I mean, that might just be efficiency taking over. But you know what? That's. I'll let you, the viewer, decide. I've never played anything quite like this before. Now, that just showed me like where people were. I did not pay attention. So here we go. So you have nine spots that people can be in as you operate this elevator. Why can't I go? Oh, never mind. Okay, sorry. I... Okay, so she's on three. I'm sure there's a more methodical way of doing this. I kind of just... I'm here. Open the door. What are you doing? Like, I... what? Okay, yeah, of course, I did much better when I was playing without <laughs> recording. But there was no... Okay. Ah, this is... You know what? This is different. Before, it was just... Ah, crap. It was just levels 1 through 5. 1 was on the bottom. You just go down to 1 when you wanted to rescue people. And they all jump out. There were no basements to worry about. No, none of that stuff. This has switched things up a little bit. Make sure you don't let the zombies on. Okay, she was ready to go. So you can let people out in the middle, which is, that does change things strategically a little bit, but not really all that much. So previously I was able to fill up. Yeah, she, she got hit. Pretty much everybody gets hit <laughs> and they kind of stumble and that's how you know, like you're just way too late. Wow, I don't think I've ever had three people get on at once. Let's see, who's here? Anybody? Bueller? Okay, I'm gonna skip one, because they're good, so I don't have to go to one just yet. Oh, there we go. Definitely go there, get her. Right, she's a tramp stamp, look at that. Is that a fin, I don't know. Is that, is, that, is that mean to say, I don't know. That's, that is the uh, colloquial term for a tattoo there. I don't know, that's, that's acceptable, but. Uh, She's a big fan of Goldberg, apparently, so. I was gonna make a joke about Jackhammer, but I'm not gonna do that now, because it just doesn't seem appropriate. Alright. Yeah, these zombies are... At first I thought the zombies would want to, like, get into the elevator, but they don't even really care. They're just like, whatever. Go down here. Alright, we got you. Yeah, my brother's real happy. I mean, I will be too. As you can see, the developer spared literally no expense in terms of uh, not developing the models for the game. I mean, they went all out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, somebody has to get left because there's only... That stinks. Yeah, that... I probably should have dropped everybody off. 
probably could have rescued that guy at that point. Uh, three survivors left. Can I get them? Probably not. No, nope, there's one. Wow, that's the fastest I've seen a zombie move. I don't know, they, they are very lethargic. I can't, you know, you know. Eating flesh, I can't imagine. Uncooked flesh. Okay, two out of three. Come on, dude. Alright, and then once you get the last survivor, it just takes you back to where they get out. Which happens to be one in the middle instead of one at the bottom. So, and I gotta see. Do I unlock the next level? Uh, I guess I do anyway. I'll take it. Stage four. I probably should have paid attention to what it said there, but I didn't. Because I'm a genius. Um, so, two, three, four. What? There's three f Wait a minute. There's a rear? Oh my gosh, this is gonna mess me up. So now I have six floors. What is the... Oh, I, I'm thinking rear, there's no rear elevator, it's the roof. I'm such a moron. Overthinking it. Oh, hey, look at that, somebody else. You all know each other. You don't know how, but you all do. Ah, the roof is where they all get out. Cool. They never even try to get into the elevator, which I don't really understand. You figure, oh, well, I, because you're operating the camera and not really in the elevator, there's no incentive for them to do so, I guess. Oh, so why didn't make it? Sorry, buddy. Oh, so they can get out on basement one or the roof. That's different. Now there's two exits. Interesting. There's 20 people left. Can't they all just be on one floor? Well, split amongst three. Make it easy for me. Hey, look at that. You made it. Get out of here. Okay. Nothing there. She's just going to walk around the cubicle. So I thought they could get in the elevator, but they can't. As far I mean, as far as I've seen, they can't get in the elevator. But where are the rest of these twenty people? When the elevator comes. You got to be ready. You know, this is not. You know, I'm not playing games here. There are ten survivors remaining. Like some folks got quote. Yeah, my man just made it. <laughs> Get in here. Why is she waving to the zombie? What are you waving to the zombie for? For what? Where do I press in that close button faster? Now oh, those legs are still there. Go back to uh yep. Get this guy. So giving me six floors is a little bit different, but you don't really do a whole lot in this game. So I, mean, I don't even press a button to open the doors. They just open up automatically. That's been my experience. So I'll take these people down to the basement. All right, two people left. I don't think the buttons even do anything. I 
I think they're gonna get eaten. That's just me. Unless they're on these two floors. Hello? No, I think that's one of them right there. And they're dead. So I must be pretty wild. Ah, another C. Imagine that. Okay, um... Yeah, I... I I could go on, but I, I kind of feel like I got the, you know, I got what there is to get out of this. I don't think there's much more, uh, you know, that's no, nah, I could be wrong. I mean, maybe, you know, there might be an in-depth story I haven't seen once you get to level six, I, but I, I think this is pretty much it. Undead's building. Yep. This, this is the experience. Undead's building the experience, the game, the experience, the game. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to do it for this one. Um, just a, a, just a tip, something that you might want to take with you in, in your journeys in life. If you suspect there are zombies in a building with or without an elevator, if you can help it, don't go in that building. That that's the best advice I can give you. So hopefully that's useful to you and what's going to do it for me. Um, yeah, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out more videos some will pop up they should be on the screen probably right about now or close to when i said now and in the description there are links to gameenthuse.com as well as playlists with many more videos things you can comment on subscribe i mean and like and make comments on all that good stuff and um yeah here's a question for you uh, are you a fan of zombie games if so do you like them prefer them with or without elevators being involved let me know down below. That's going to do it. Take care. Be blessed.